Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Detroit Tigers at Tigers Stadium. On the mound for the Blue Jays is Dave Lemanchik, whose record is 0-4 with a 8.51 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Bryn Smith, whose record is 2-1 with a 4.50 ERA. Holy cow, we had the day off yesterday and we needed it desperately. Look at this score, 20 to 17. The Packers beat the Lions. It was the craziest game I've ever played. I mean, I, I tried to think about it last night. I mean, I've played thousands and thousands and thousands of games. I, I have no idea how many uh, games that I've actually played since 2002. But I don't think I've ever had a game where 37 runs were scored. Uh, both teams had uh, damn near 20 runs. I mean, it's crazy to think about. There was eight total home runs. There was three errors. Uh, I mean, it was over 40 hits. It was crazy. Uh, and really, we had a chance uh, in the bottom of the ninth inning to at least tie it up. And uh, of course, we could not come through. We threw all of our bullpen in there. We threw all of the, the batters in there. Uh, and we could not pull it off. Almost, though. And uh, ultimately, it's just one game. It's one loss. And uh, we move on. As the Blue Jays come to town, the worst team in the American League. And so let's go ahead and click on the Blue Jays. And let's get started here. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe if you enjoy this content. Um, if you did not watch yesterday's game, it's a long one because of all the uh, the hits and the runs, but it's worth watching. It was a lot of fun, very frustrating. I think I held it together for the most part. Bryn Smith is on the mound. Uh, we, having a day off, everyone is rested. And really, if I wanted to, I could have skipped Bryn Smith and went right to Morris. Uh, I could have even went to Rosema if I wanted to. But we're going to go with the five-man rotation uh, until something else comes up. Tim Lawler suffered the most indignities in yesterday's game. Uh, he gave up six runs uh, in that game, and now his ERA is uh, 10.50, so not great. Um, and Hume gave up some runs. Cappy gave up. Everybody, if you showed up in the box score, uh, you got punished. Let's uh, take a look at the lineup today against uh, the righty Dave Lemanchek. Uh Everybody is healthy. We have all the main players in the lineup. Reggie Jackson will be batting today. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, just, that's our uh, main group of players. And let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Toronto Blue Jays today. As you look at the uh, season stats, batting leadoff in center field is Rick Bassetti. Batting second at second base is Garth Orge. Batting third at third base is Paul Dade. Batting cleanup in right field is Danny Tartable. Batting fifth in playing first base is Willie Upshaw. Batting 6th in catching is Ernie Witt. Batting 7th in left field is Al Woods. Batting 8th in DHing is Tim Corcoran. And batting ninth, playing shortstop, is Steve Davis. Berin Smith, we need some innings from this guy today. Making his 5th uh, start, 2-1 and one with that 450 ERA. 14 Ks and 28 innings pitched. He gives up a ton of hits, 41 in 28 innings. Uh, opponents are batting 342 against him. He's a soft tosser. We need to change his um, personal catcher to none because Bobby Ramos is in AAA. And uh, has he played Toronto? Yeah, he did get his first start against Toronto. Oh, no, it was not a start. It was in relief of Jerry Uger. And he got the win in that game. He went three and a third innings. Uh, otherwise, he's had a couple rough outings in a row, especially against Cleveland, where he gave up nine hits in four and two-third innings. So, 
All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Tigers. It's the same as it ever was, with Henderson and Whitaker both being Gold Glove Award winners. And Rick Bassetti leading off against Bryn Smith. 0 for 3, 2 Ks against Bryn Smith. And a line drive, base hit, past Hatcher. That's a double, please. Baseball Jesus, don't let this be another... 30 run game. Next up is Garth Orge batting 224 versus righties. Pops it up to shortstop. Trammell makes the play. One down. Next up is Paul Dade. 0 for 4 against Smith, but he had a grand slam the last time we saw him. As Bassetti steals third base. Come on. Runner on third then for Dade. We're pulling the infield in. We are. We've got to turn the tides here defensively. Strikes him out. There we go. First K of the day for Bryn Smith. That's going to leave it up to the youngster, Danny Tartable, 19 years old. Batting 237 with four dongs. And he pulls it into left field. And Gibby catches it for the third out. So Detroit gets through the top half of the first, throwing up a donut. And uh, we go to the bottom half. Let's see the Tigers lineup run down. Batting leadoff, playing second base, is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second at first. Sorry. At first base is Greg Brock. Batting third at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting cleanup in center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting fifth in DHing is Reggie Jackson. Batting sixth in catching is Lance Parrish. Batting seventh in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting eighth in right field is Andre Dawson. And batting ninth at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Dave Lemanchek, not great, making his seventh start. Remember, Dave Steve is on the uh, IL for another 85 days. So their pitching staff has been uh, jostled around a bit, and they don't have anyone good at the back end. Uh, seven start, 0-4, 851 ERA, 18 walks, 18 Ks. Opponents are batting 341 against him. Brent Smith can relate. Let's take a look at his log. Already faced us twice, and he suffered two losses. That's good news. So what is that, 10 innings pitched, giving up 11, 12 runs and uh, 19 hits so we like that we'll take that as uh none of his pitches are above average so let's let's uh take it to dave lamanchek here as you take a look at the uh, defensive alignment for the blue jays danny tartable in right field definitely below average otherwise pretty solid defensively okay here's sweet lou leading off and he strikes out looking one down. Greg Brock up next, popping it up on the infield. And it's the second out. Just going to leave it up to Mickey Hatcher. Batting 341 overall. Mickey Hatcher, ground ball to short. And that is the final out of the inning. So we're going to the top of the second. No score. Don't forget, we have uh, we do have another robot race today. Forgot to mention that during the intro. So it's seventh uh, inning stretch. We'll do our next robot race. We're almost uh, have the first round of the bracket filled out, and then we're gonna battle to the death. Really up shop. Leading off the second, popping it up into foul ground on the third base side. Hatcher snags it. There's one down. Tiger Killer, Ernie Witt up next. 0 for 3, though, and 3 walks against Bryn Smith. Ground ball right at Hatcher, 2 down. And then Al Woods, 4 for 5 with a homer. And Smith strikes him out. Okay, this is a nice change of pace. We go to the bottom of the second. Henderson, Jackson, Parrish. And Henderson walks. And you know, and I know... And the Blue Jays know we want him to steal. 
But we're not going to do it. We're going to let Reggie swing away. Five for ten. That was a good call by me. As Reggie takes the lead, uh, the team lead with six home runs. He is two home runs shy of 400 career jacks. And the Tigers lead two to nothing. Nicely done. Good job, Reginald. Parrish strikes out. There's one down. Gibby up next. Gibby slowly coming around. Batting 252 now. And he jacks it into right center field. Over the 375 marker on the fence. 431 feet. And that is Gibby's second home run in a week. That's going to bring up uh, Andre Dawson. Dawson had a home run yesterday. He's, in fact, he's had um, home runs in back-to-back -back games. And he hits a ground ball to first. Two down. It's going to leave it up to Trammell. Tram pops it up on the infield, carrying to the outfield grass. Uh, somewhere between the shortstop and the left fielder. I don't know who caught it. So shortstop. So we're going to give it to uh, Steve Davis. So we go to the top of the third. Hey, 3 nothing. Tigers had two home runs that inning. Jackson and Gibby. And Tim Corker in the leadoff. The top of the third. There's one down. Next up is Steve Davis. Looping it into right field. It will be caught by Dawson. And with two down, we go back to the top of the lineup with Rick Bassetti. And he hits a line drive to left. Gibby makes the play. We go to the bottom of the third. 3 0 Detroit. Sweet Lou leading off. Striking out, looking for the second time. Got to take the bat off the shoulder, Lou. I don't know if you saw yesterday's. Uh, Baseball card video, but I got a Lou Whitaker rookie card. 1978 Lou Whitaker rookie card. Nice card indeed. Also picked up a Jack Morris, a Chet Lemon, a Steve Kemp rookie card. Brock grounds out to second, and then Mickey Hatcher grounds out to short. We go to the top of the fourth. We have Garth Orge due up with Dade and Tartable to follow. Orge hits a ground ball into the shortstop hole, and uh, Tram makes the play right into his hole at short. Paul Dade hits a weak grounder to Hatcher. Second out. Hatcher's had, what, six errors in like 10 days? He was due, though. He went a long time without even having one. I think almost the whole month of uh, April, I don't think he had an error. As uh, the Blue Jays go down, one, two, three. A one hitter so far for Bryn Smith. We go to the bottom of the fourth with Ricky Henderson leading off. Then Red Jay and uh, Lance. Ricky pops it up at home plate. One down. Here's Reggie. Hit that two-run shot. Up next, uh, he hits a grounder. This time around to first. Upshaw makes the play. There's two down. He's going to leave it up to Big Wheel. Big Wheel, three for ten with a home run in his career against LeMantic. So yeah, with um, Lemanchek, I believe he's the number three starter on this team now. So uh, we will not face Jim Clancy this time. Remember, Clancy beat us 7-0 in the last series. So we're going to face 3-4-5, and five, which includes Jackson Todd making his first start of the season. So I like our odds against this team as Willie Upshaw gets a base hit uh, through the left side of the infield. Got four lefties in a row. This is the tough spot for Smith. There's another hit. Ernie Witt into right. Okay, we'll give up that run for a double play with Al Woods up. Al Woods does hit Bryn Smith well, though. Four out of six so far. 
in his career, and he makes it five out of seven. Oh, gosh. I don't want to see any more mogling. We're going to pull the infield in now against Tibbe Corcoran. Former Detroit Tiger. Ground ball, base hit. Unbelievable. Are we not going to get through five with Bryn Smith? So all the lefties just absolutely uh, pelted Smith. And then he walks Davis. And that's it, man. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we're taking him out. Um, I mean, there's nothing. What can I do? I mean, we tried to get him through five, but uh, he's on the verge of um, costing us the game. Now, yesterday, in two separate situations in that 20-17 to 17 loss, we pulled the infield in with the bases loaded, and it twice uh, gave us a double play uh, home to first. So let's see what happens this time. Can lightning strike again? Line drive right at the first baseman, and uh, that is the only play to be made. I guess we have to... You have to play back. I don't think Garth Orge is going to hit get a hit. So we're going to hope for a double play here on the ground. Yep, to third. Let's go around the horn. Oh, he goes home. That's the smart play. Okay, that's you, Junior Head Hatcher. But Paul Dade already has a grand slam against us this season. This is this is not what we want. This is not a good scenario. Line drive to right, and Dawson makes the play. Tigers get out of the inning, holding on to the lead. And uh, Tom Hume, officially the pitcher of record now. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Kirk Gibson. Gibby, base hit the center. That's a good start. Now, Gibby, I feel confident. In attempting to steal, 72%. Now, we're going to hit and run with Dawson. Let's see if Dawson can move, at least move Gibby along. Nope. Can't even do the simplest of things as he flies out to right. And now we have to steal with Gibby, and everybody knows it. Oh, there we go, Gibby. Trying to get our team to 50% in stolen bases. That is Gibson's second stolen base on the season for crying out loud he's two out of five unbelievable all right this is the scoring position now for tram let's get one of those runs back right here there we go base hit to right field falls right in front of tr uh tartable run scores we are do we go for two yep and tram is safe that was a risk but we'll take that chance up to runner in scoring position for Whitaker. Whitaker hasn't even taken the bat off his shoulder. There he goes. Is that going to bloop in for a single? No. Caught by Tartable. We're going to say no this time. We don't want the third out at third with Greg Brock up. Brock's been clutch. His average is down to 241. But he's um, he walks a lot. He gets on base. And a blooper into his center field. Base hit. Trammel scores. And it's 5-2. to two. So with two down, we're going to let Hatcher swing away. Normally, we might consider hitting and running. But we're going to let Hatcher have a hack. And he flies out to center field. We're going to the top of the sixth. And we've got a righty then lefty. So we're going to have to let Hume... Go after Tartable. And then we'll bring in Lawler and see if we can't get his ERA down. And that strikes him out. Nicely done. Hume is the hero of this game so far. One in the third innings. Guy's almost pitched 20 innings in relief already. So here's Tim Lawler. We're going to bring in Lawler. Take a look at him real quick. He's got 11 Ks in six innings. That's the good news. The bad news is yesterday... Um, they pulled his pants down on the mound and spanked his bottom. He gave up seven runs in one in the third innings. Five hits. 
I mean, it wasn't two home runs, two walks. Uh, we were, there was nothing we could do. We were doing everything we could to just get through that inning uh, and not blow up our whole bullpen. So I was trying to stretch out our relievers, uh, not, not knowing we were going to score 17 runs, you know. Oh, come on, for crying out loud. Willie Upshaw, lefty on lefty violence. That is Upshaw's third home run of the season. Five to three now. Ernie Witt up next. Ground ball to third. Hatcher. Two down. It's going to bring up Al Woods. Al flies out to left. Gibby makes an easy catch. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. Blue Jays get one back on... The Willie Upshaw homer. Dave Lomanchek still in there. Only 66 pitches. He is definitely uh, good at like keeping his pitch count down. He doesn't walk a lot. He's a soft tosser, so mostly he's not giving up a lot of uh, hard hit balls. But except for this guy, Jackson will hit the balls hard. There's a base hit to right. Reggie, good job, buddy. Hey, let's take a look at the um, in-game stats. Player of the game thus far, is it Reggie? Is it Gibby? Hard to say. Could be either one of those guys. Let's see if Lance Parrish can make a bid for it. Boom, base hit to left field. That is seven hits for Detroit. We're going to hold uh, Jackson at second base. And we're going to give Gibson another shot to uh, drive in some runs here. We're not going to hit and run or any of that kind of foolishness. Oh, he strikes out swinging. And that's going to leave it up to Andre Dawson. He flips it to right. And that is a easy catch for Tartable. We go to the top of the seventh. We have the um, robot race coming up at the bottom half of this inning. We have uh, Tim Lawler in there. We're going to let him pitch to Tim Corcoran. A couple of Timmies. And he walks in. Come on. I, th I, I have to keep Lawler up through this series. And then we're going to uh, send him down and bring back Comstock. I'm just trying to uh, be judicial about the process of uh, sending people to the minors and bringing them back up. We're going to bring in Joe Kerrigan. Joe Kerrigan, we like Joe Kerrigan, but he's had some rough ones here. He did give up two runs in that Milwaukee game yesterday. A walk and a strikeout. In fact, he took the loss. Oh, no, that was uh, the first game of the series. Oh, that's right, because he was actually listed as tired, and he was unavailable for yesterday's uh, bloodbath. So runner on first, nobody out. Here is Steve Arino Davis. And he ties up the ball game at five. Holy hell. Walks Bassetti. There's some speed on first. He stole third base earlier. Oh my god, come on. Now we've got to guard the lines. And a balk? I mean, come on! Is this the end of the line for Kerrigan? I mean, this might be it. This could be the... Uh, we've, we've reached the point now where uh, Kerrigan is no longer useful. Um, we're going to pull the infield in. We cannot give up a run. I could walk him and try to get a double play, but... Um, yeah, he just might walk him anyway. Ground ball at the middle. Uh, Orge holds, but now the Blue Jays take the lead. And um, now, now we may as well just go for the double play. And he walks him. Wow. Could not get one batter out. And he leaves with the bases loaded. And uh, Cappy's coming in. I don't know if we have enough pitchers to get through this game. We still have two more games in this series, for crying out loud. Okay, now we do have to pull the infield in. 
Upshaw's already hit a home run off a left-hander today. Strikes him out. Good job, Capizello. There's one down. Now we're going to play back and try to turn two against the catcher. Ernie Witt, only batting 120 versus left-handers. Popping it up on the infield. And we're going to have a chance to get out of this inning down only a run. Al Woods hits lefties well and has hit Capazella well. Two for three of the K. Got her fingers crossed. Ground ball, base hit up the middle. Two run score. And it's eight to five. And then Corcoran gets a hit too. Okay, well we're down four runs now, so I mean, you just got to eat it at this point as he strikes out Davis. Okay, we're going to the robot race. Let's bring some joy to this world as uh, the Tigers are just absolutely in rough shape. We're going to go to the super full screen. Boom. And let's take a look at our contestants today. We've got Dave K holding on for dear life. He's been there since the very, very, very beginning. We have Bill H. We've got Steve M, who is the new guy today. Steve M, welcome to the robot race. We got Rob S. We got Tony A. And Duglod B. Those are the contestants for today. We've got 45 seconds on the clock. We're going to count down for th from three. And we'll get ourselves a winner to add to the bracket in order to win a autograph hall of, from a Hall of Fame pitcher. So that's what's up for grabs. We're not going to tell you what it is yet. We're going to wait for the second round, and then we'll let you know what the prize will be. Here we go. Three, two, one. Brrr. Okay, we have Bill H. out to an early lead. He's an eyeball ahead of uh, Tony A. rolling along on his little nubs. Oh, it's kind of neck and neck there. It seems like whoever falls the furthest behind gets a chance to uh, win. Uh, Dave is uh, indifferent to it all by the uh, digital mouth that he has. Oh, he's falling back. This, maybe this is going to be Dave's race, finally. Duglod's saying hello from the uh, near lane. Dave, Dave, is Dave going to be the one? We're seven, six, five. Here he comes. We'll... Bill H beat him up. Forget it, Steve M, the new guy in the crock pot with the bobbly eyes, wins. Congratulations, congratulations to Steve M. Here it is once again. Steve M with the win. Bill H, Dave K of the top three. Then we've got Tony Robb and Duglod bringing up the rear. Okay, good job. Congratulations to Steve. We're going to add him to the bracket very quickly which means uh, the bottom left corner. Steve M. Boom. And we'll save that later. Let's go back to this dreadful game. We are, um, yeah, we are uh, we are in rough shape. I, I can't believe Dave Lomanchek is still in this ball game. We're down four runs, and we need a rally here. Let's get the rally monkeys out as Trammell pops it up on the infield. There's one down. Sweet Lou's up next. 0 for 3. Couple strikeouts. And he drills it to dead center field. And it falls short. Oh, man. I thought that was gone for sure. Caught on the warning track. 436 feet from home plate. Two down for Greg Brock. 1 for 3 with an RBI today. And he pops it up into left center field, and that'll do it. Ugh. All right. So we've only got um, Rucker, and we've only got, uh, we've also got um, Weaver. So let's just try to get Cappy one more inning here. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. It's, um, I, I, the lefty-righty matchups may have made no difference in the last two days. As Bosetti flies out to uh, center field, Orge flies out to right. 
And then Paul Dade grounds out to first. Finally, we put up a goose egg on the board. We go to the bottom of the eighth. We've got three, four, and five due up. Hatcher, Henderson, both Ophers today, and then Reggie. Mickey strikes out. Unbelievable. One down. Ricky goes yard. I can't get excited about it. I mean, I'm happy for him, but uh, I just can't get excited. That is his uh, fifth home run on the season, or is that his sixth? Let's take a look real quick. Numero cinco. Okay. Uh, they're going to bring in their closer. It's Greg Thayer. Um, let's take a look at Thayer. Ninth appearance, 1-0. Oh. He's got three saves. He's been pretty solid with that 245 ERA. He does walk more than he strikes out. Made a career out of doing that. Opponents are betting 222 against him. 90 mile an hour fastball. He is a highly likely to get a ground ball out of you. Change up is his out pitch. He's got a slider and a fastball that he'll work in there. 32 year old. Um, and uh, somehow he is the closer. Not Dave Tobik, former D Tiger. Uh, he is not the closer. It's fair. So one down. Tigers have a run now, and uh, Reggie is up. Ground ball, base hit. Whoa, that gets past the second baseman, Orange. And Jackson has himself his third hit today. We're going to take out Reggie, and we're going to bring in a pinch runner. And, yes, I'm not going to make the same mistake again. We are going to use an actual pinch runner. Is it uh, Kevin Bass? Is he the fastest guy we have? He is. So Kevin Bass is going in for Reginald Jackson. With uh, Parrish up, we want to try to avoid the double play. But we are going to let uh, Parrish swing away, so we still have, it still could be possible. Nope, fly ball to left field. That will eliminate the double play. And it will be up to Gibby to get something rolling here. Gibson two for three with the home run today. Hey, there we go. Base hit to right field. Kevin Bass makes it to third easily. And we are one swing away from tying this game up. And although Dawson has let us down a lot this year, he does have four home runs, and he has home runs in back-to-back -back games. Nope. Weak ground ball to someone named Garth. We go to the top of the ninth. Uh, we're going to let... Cappy finished this game out with Danny Tartable leading off. He walks him. Runner on first then for Willie Upshaw. Two for four with a home run today. Striking him out. Three Ks for Cappy. So one down. Runner on first for catcher Ernie Witt. Witt whiffs. Four strikeouts for Capizello. Elwood's up next, and he bloops it into right center field. Caught by Dawson, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. We're down three. We have Trammell. We have Whitaker. We have Brock. We got a couple lefties in there. Normally, I'd be pretty excited about these three batters, but uh, it's hard to get excited when they've been struggling so much. Okay, Trammell gets a base hit. So we all know how the game teases us. It's 0 for 5 against uh, Greg Thayer. We're going to hit and run with Lou. Let's try to get everybody moving. Ground ball to short. Trammell makes it to second. Whitaker takes a big 0 for today. 0 for 5. Brock up next. And he walks. And that's going to bring up Hatcher. And you know what? We're going to pinch hit. We are going to bring in John Mayberry. He's a lefty. He's got some pop, and he does not have a home run yet this season. Take a quick look at him here. Home run is powers is uh, 82. So just above average, but he's had a couple 30 home run seasons in his career. And uh, this is the time to jack one. Let's go. Maybe oh, base hit the left field. We'll take a base hit. 
That'll score. Oh, whoa, oh, no. 90% um, chance. May as well. Trammell is safe at home. Nicely done. So that's going to bring up the winning run, which is Ricky Henderson. We are taking out Mayberry. And we're going to bring in Mark Wagner now. Mayberry did his job. Wagner's on first. Double checking. Ricky Henderson. 0 for 1 with a walk in his career against Greg Thayer. Oh, they're going to walk him. Bases loaded for Kevin Bass. Bass hit his first home run in his career yesterday as a pinch hitter. And um, if this was a lefty pitching, I'd say Glenn Wilson, absolutely. But it's not. It's Kevin Bass, and he's a switch hitter. And he's off to a pretty good start in his career. We're going to let him swing away. One swing of the bat could tie the game. One swing of the bat could also... Oh, ground ball up the middle! I'm not even going to finish that thought. Everybody goes one bag. Come on. You can't tell me Wagner would not have scored. Well, 84 feet. Okay. All right. That's fine. I'm with you on that. Okay, so 34 pitches for Greg Thayer. He's given up five hits and two runs. And now we've got the human double play machine. All we need him to do is hit a sacrifice fly anywhere in the outfield, particularly right field. That would be great. Here we go. Could this be a double play? Oh, he goes to right field. Oh, it's a foul out. And in this game, if they catch it, even in foul territory, no one will tag up. So, bases remain loaded for Gibby. And we are about to get moguled. Oh no, we're moguling you, you bitch! As the Tigers win, 10 to 9. Gibby, player of the game. How about that, Gibby? Let's get Gibson. A couple of brewskis. Tigers win 10-9. These have been two of the most bizarre games that we have played in the history of this uh, simulation. Let's, uh, no, no trade offers. Take a look at the standings. I mean, we have to beat Toronto. They are so bad. I mean, and we've got to do some uh, serious uh, look at our, our bullpen at any rate. Tigers get the win, 22 and 11. Let's look at the transactions. Um, Marty Barrett, 20-game hitting streak. Cleveland's uh, reliever, Bobby Cuellar, is going to be out for five weeks. And uh, don't forget yesterday, uh, two days ago in, in the game anyway, um, the Cubs traded Bruce Suter to Baltimore for Storm Davis. Um, a, actually, a really great trade for both teams. Uh, that doesn't happen too often in this game, but that one I really like. And uh, we'll face uh, Baltimore next week. Okay, wow. I need to have uh, some alcohol. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. We know it's Gibby. Great job by Gibson. We're only 3-3 three and three in the month of uh, May. And that is a little bit frustrating, but maybe we can get a couple more games under our belt as we take a look here at the box score. Uh, Capazello gets the victory. Wow, what a great job by him, too, actually. Um, going three innings, giving up only two hits and a walk, striking out four. Joe Kerrigan, have we seen the last of Joe Kerrigan? Have we seen the last of J uh, Tim Lawler? We may have. Uh, but but uh, Kerrigan was signed to a minor league deal, so that means I have to cut him from the team and pay, that, uh, pay out the rest of his contract. Gibson, four for five, three RBIs. Good job by him. Reggie got his kicked off with the, his sixth home run. Ricky hit his fifth, which at the time I didn't think meant a lot, but uh, that was very important. And uh, Trammell uh, beat out a, um, a, a double, stretched into a double. Stolen base by Gibson as well. So, um, I mean, really a, a very entertaining game. Uh, I Sorry I swore so much, but, um, you know, what are you going to do? That's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow, game two of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.